amigos de Unidos Noticias, el día de hoy estamos entrevistando a Irina, que vino con su pequeñito. Ellos vienen de Ucrania y hemos hecho algunas preguntas, pero pues de todos modos queremos que nos cuente más de su historia, saber más de ella, lo que ha pasado. How do you feel right now? Oh, thank you, Tatiana. Now I'm feeling much more comfortable than in Ukraine because here in Romania uh, we met uh, wonderful people. Uh, that helped us uh, and uh, we feel uh, ourselves very safe so now we are very good thank you <laughs> and you are going to stay here waiting to the war stop in uh, yes uh, we stayed close to the border because uh, um, because we want to go home as uh, fast as it's possible uh, and uh, we hope um, We hope that uh, in several weeks uh, we can go home. At, maybe the war will not end in several weeks, but uh, we hope that uh, uh, the place where our house is will be safe and uh, um, it will be safe for us uh, to go back there. And what do you think about this conflict uh, between Russia and Ukraine? What is your opinion? Uh, well, um, In history, uh, Ukrainian, Ukraine and uh, Russia uh, were so much connected uh, that uh, all of the Ukrainians uh, didn't believe uh, that uh, this will happen. But nevertheless, they didn't stop Putin. And um, once uh, he decided to invade us and uh, uh, he, he, tells, uh, he tells that uh, Uh, he is saving Russian-speaking people in Ukraine, you know, but uh, in uh, Ukraine people speak two languages, Russian and Ukrainian, and uh, and all the Ukrainians are okay with that. I am personally me, uh, I'm Russian-speaking Ukrainian, uh, and my husband, for example, is uh, Ukrainian-speaking Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian, and at home um, he asks me questions in Ukrainian, I answer him in Russian, our kid uh, understands both languages and it's not a problem at all. But uh, you know that it was just, um, uh, it was, uh, it, it is not, uh, saving Russian speaking people, it's not a real reason to, for U Russian troops to enter Ukraine, it, it is just an uh, uh, explanation for people. But uh, the real reason is uh, that uh, uh, Ukraine decided to um, to develop uh, Ukraine. Ukrainian uh, economy uh, was fast developing, and Russian economy was not so fast developing. And uh, um, uh, we Ukraine wanted to enter European Union. We wanted to uh, be more connected to Europe than to Russia. And uh, Putin uh, was losing his influence in Ukraine. And that was the real reason why he invaded us. He wanted to get to Kyiv uh, very fast, uh, to get control over Kyiv in uh, two or three days, and uh, to put uh, his uh, uh, his uh, president mm, to kill, maybe to kill our president, and uh, to put another president to uh, Ukraine uh, who will uh, be more connected with Russia and uh, who will do everything what Putin says, you know, but his plans uh, broke down, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, and uh, all the European people told, um, all the European politicians told that Ukraine will be, uh, will be lost in several days, but now uh, a month passed by and we are still standing and now the predictions are the opposite, all the predictions say that Ukrainian army will win. And uh, uh, but uh, it takes time, and uh, many people, many military people, and many civilians are killed every day uh, by Russian army, and that's why it's uh, it's all it's all a big tragedy for for the whole world, you know. I can I want to to face uh, all the politics uh, all over the world uh, to give Ukraine more weapons. Um, because in Ukraine there are so many men that uh, want to fight uh, against Russians 
and uh, we don't need army, we don't need NATO army, which we just need weapons uh, to throw away all the military Russian or the Russian military people faster um, because we don't know our we don't want uh, our women and our children to be killed. We want to save them, and uh, Europe can help us uh, to save uh, to save many lives. Um, we moved. Uh, we moved to Romania because uh, we wanted to stay safe, but my husband stayed uh, in Ukraine and uh, many, many husbands of many other Ukrainian people also stayed uh, uh, at home uh, to protect their motherland. And what do you tell to your kid with the bombs starts? My kid, uh, my kid is only three years and uh, he doesn't understand anything. Um, he asks me every day when can we go home, and I just tell him that it is dangerous. Los hombres pagan por cruzar la frontera Rumania. I read some news that uh, there were some accidents, but they were caught, you know, by by uh, police, and um, I don't know what happens next. Maybe maybe some man crossed the border. I don't know. I heard that. Uh, I heard that uh, there were some people who tried to cross, cross the border to uh, Moldova, but not uh, where the official cross is, but just uh, in the fields, you know. Uh, they tried, uh, several, several men tried to cross the border and then they were caught. Um, and now, now it's, uh, it's impossible for a uh, man to cross the border. Only uh, it's possible to cross the border if a man is older than 60 or if a man has uh, three kids. Uh, if a family has three kids, and then a man can come with a wife. Um, that is officially possible. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, um, among, among my uh, friends and relatives, uh, there were no such uh, accidents, you know. Well, thank you for your words and your time. And I hope that you can return to Ukraine very soon. I also want to thank you. I want to thank you all the mass media, international mass media that uh, help us uh, to um, to 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 say these words to the world that help us uh, to um, that helps the world to uh, the world to understand what's happening uh, in real time because I know that um, Russia wants uh, Russia uh, creates many fake news about uh, this situation that's why uh, many people in Russia do not know the truth and uh, they support Putin just because they don't don't know what's happening in reality. So thank you very much that you help us also. No, okay. it's okay. Um, I'm sure you are going to be okay. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you also. Thank you, Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Para Unidos Noticias, Tatiana Fernández con imágenes de Santetobar.